Hello, good day. My name is Shagun Nasir Abrahman from Bayer University, Kano, Nigeria. Presenting a paper titled Lexical Expansion Showcasing Power and Dominance in Rarara's Political Songs, a Critical Discourse Perspective. This paper is presented, uh, I'm presenting this paper for ISCOM 2020 conference. The paper is an attempt to deliver a critical discourse analysis of confounding as a process of lexical expansion, showcasing power and dominance in Rarara's discourse. So let me start with the key concept of the paper. That is critical discourse analysis, that is CDA, and uh, lexical expansion. So, uh, lexical expansion basically is the study and analysis of written text or talk in their relation to power, dominance political or historical concepts. According to Van Dyke, 2003, is a scholar of uh, CDA, he says that CDA is a study that shows how inequality and dominance are reproduced and resisted by tense or talk. Therefore, it primarily shows, uh, it primarily studies the way social power, dominance, inequality are enacted and produced or resisted by text or talk. So going to lexical expansion, which is another concept in this paper, these are the ways of creating new words, that is by assigning new meaning or shifting it its primary meaning. Uh, Sani 2011 says that when a meaning is broadened from its primary broadening of designative function of house lexical items based on transfer from other language or a mere creativity is lexical expansion. So, as the study comprises of two different aspects, that is lexical expansion and CDA, so a critical discourse would be used as a methodology, while the theory of lexical abyss hypothesis proposed by Arnold 1976, developed by Lever 1981, is adopted. That is from the aspect of lexical expansion. Using purposive random sampling strategy and uh, a, a research design of descriptive types of research, uh, a discuss, descriptive types of discuss analysis, four songs were selected out of the numerous songs composed by Rarara. So Rarara, as a popular Northern Nigeria uh, political musician, his songs target mass enlightenment, bringing transparency to governance at different levels. So these songs are pull up a mere creativity of extending lexicon to showcase power and dominance. So out of the four songs, ten lexical items were identified in their reference to the textual convention of Rarara. These are the lexical items. That number one is uh, Inikibia, which is a pointer of an arrow. Number two, Mangela granite oil. Number three, Ramara Kwingi, a stick belt. Number four, Torigiwa, good elephant up to the number 10, which is Kibud. So, this work has displayed their 
semantic extension or lexical extension and their process uh, sorry, and their processes they have undergone is shown and the process they have undergone is going to be discussed right now. So number one, Sini Kibia, which is which comprise of Sini, that sharp point, which is an, an adjective, then plus N sound, which is a genetic, and Kibia, that is the arrow. So it simply means sharp point of an arrow. So it was used in his songs uh, titled Sardona, where he says, Sini Kibia, my wife's mother, Kokachi Gerangariki, Haskakasu Lanterki, Malam Shakara. That is a, it function here as a powerful one. As, as the word is explaining the tip and sharpness of an arrow, arrow's head, so Rarara used the words to in this, uh, sorry, in this context, to show the nature of his political leader, that is uh, Malam Shekharo, Governor Ibrahim Shekharo, GIS, GIS in short, and the way he captured his opponent. But he said, a point of an arrow that destroy, destroys warriors with cheer, enlighten them the light. Example number two, the word Mangeda, also, which is uh, basically granite oil. But however, in this context, Rarara used this lexical uh, so compounded term to showcase the attribute of power and dominance comparing it with the attribute of uh, Mangela where he says Baka Barchi Mangela Ina Hadari Maikawuchida that is you don't freeze granite oil never that is a cloud that causes rumbling of thunder. So, go to example number seven. The compounded forms that was the psyche, which is a scatter, scatter, sorry, chicks scatter. This is a symbolic nature that implies heroic and daring researches of his political uh, master to that of lion in the forest and the way lion is uh, animals are always run away from it when he says you become a lion you become a lion in the bush the king uh, example number eight and nine that is Zirigin Cheto Redemption ship and Paratapia winning ship. All these collocates that APC, the party which Rara belong to, is powerful enough to defeat even the ruling party. They say Paratap, Jirigin Cheto, one day B, Yasal like a and Paratapia Gapa Jirigin Cheto, Mobi should don't wish a candy. That's a CI, the redemption ship. We enter because we have been and cop. While the other one, Paratapia, while the other one, Paratapia, when the MPS are like a candy, Shukaro, Yabiki Garwa. That is who? Here is a wise movement. Whoever follows it is safe. So the last. The last but not the least, which is the, the last word, example number 10, that is uh, the word Kigudu. Kigudu, as shown, uh, it simply means resilient, which is used by Rarara to highlight the quality of his political leader. That the concept make, uh, marks the courageous nature of him. It reads, Water lily planted by God. That's a courageous warrior that makes enemy regress indeed, even if they don't want to run. That is Kainwa Allah Wahidun 
Gachigudu, Samaya Sugudu. So all these words, all these compounded words are used by Rarara to showcase the power and dominance in his discourse of either political party or political persons in revealing his message. So, uh, conclusively, the 10 lexical items present here in this paper reveals that Rarara employs CDA principle in explaining power and dominance in, in his discourse. So, it also shows that lexical expansion plays a vital role when it comes to how some political songs compose it. The study also that uh, explains the idea behind the use of the lexical expansion, which is largely depend on the context, as revealed by uh, this paper. It also shows that the lexical expansion used as a tool to disguise or pursue listeners on different issues. So Rarara as a creative user of language, he used these compounded terms in conveying his message. Uh, the paper also showed that Rarara's political songs serve as a breeding ground for lexical expansion in Hausa and the compounded terms used are uh, used in most instances in uh, uh, are used in most instances when it comes to explaining power and dominance compared to other lexical expansion processes which are ignored 